so I had a pretty interesting issue a little bit ago. My git command is not working. Um, I was working on a project, had to go get something, and the command didn't work. So here, I'm going to drop our command back in here, running a git clone, then our address, and we get a bash git command not found. So I figured it's a simple enough issue, we'll just install the git command. So we'll do our normal apt get space install git should work doesn't work so usually if um if an install command isn't working means there's an issue with our source list so let's go check out our source list cd and we're going to go to etc forward slash apt forward slash enter and we'll do an ls see what's in here and we see our source list right there so let's uh edit that and we're going to run nano n-a-n-o as our file editor and sou tab sources list enter so here's our issue our uh, sources are commented out everything here with a pound sign uh, basically turned off um, but what I'm going to do I'm actually going to add our own source command or source list here and that's going to be uh, let's see, let's delete this pound sign out here first. Okay, it's going to be a D E B space H T T P S colon forward slash forward slash and then one more H T T P dot K A K A L I dot O R G forward slash K A L I space K A L I dash r o l l i n g space main m a i n space n o n dash f r e e space c o n t r i b let me double check that's correct uh, let's see HTTP. oh so here's our first issue just out of simple habit we do not need and should not have this s um, HTTP, let's make that a lower h, cali.org forward slash cali space cali dash rolling main non free c o n t r i b. Yes, okay. So that looks good. Uh, to save our change, we're going to hit control O and it's going to ask us to write the file name. We want the same file name, so hit enter and then control X to exit that. So in theory, our app dash install git should work again so i'll hit up arrow a few times to get back to our old command you can always just retype app dash git install git let's see if it works it did not work hmm well the next thing we need to do is do a um app dash git install or correction um uh, basically we need to update it so let's do that and that's going to be apt get oh try this again apt get update okay so now it's updating our cali shouldn't take too long it's only got 14 meg for us so it's not too bad So, now uh, that's uh, finished. We'll go ahead and try to update our git again. So, apt get space install git enter. Well, if I spell install correct, that might help. In t a l l. Okay. There it goes. Now it's looking for it. It's asking us if we want to check this 137 megabyte. We're going to tell it yes. Enter. Okay, looks like it's building everything for us. It shouldn't take too terribly long.
it ever seems like it stalls out, just let it run. Uh, more than likely, it's hitting a file that's a little bit bigger than uh, a few kilobytes that you see here. Uh, let's see, fetching 27 meg in five seconds. So, yeah, it must hit a bigger spot right now. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, do I want to restart the service? Yeah, what can I tell you? Yes. Okay, it restarted. And it's finishing its unpacking. Just be patient with it. And we'll go ahead and come back here in a few minutes, see when it's done. Okay, well, it's finished. It only took about another minute after we paused the video. So let's go ahead and run a test and make sure our Git now works. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste this out again git clone and then my address and it looks like it's actually getting it now so clone is it's basically just copying this over and there we have it so it has finished um, my next video is going to be on this neat little um, scripting tool fusion or fluxion however you want to spell it um, it's a interesting penetration testing tool for WPA2 I'm really curious how this is going to work. Uh, I have a little lab set up already. So my next video will be on this. If you're interested in doing any kind of pen testing, please watch that video. Thank you for watching. Any links to tools can be found down below. Please leave a comment if these steps did or did not help you. And thank you for watching.